Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we got the fight here with Ariana starting. In this part, we're gonna continue it. Let's go ahead and test drive our new Eevee. Go out there, Vui, kick some button. It looks shorter and, like, fatter and chunkier. Okay, enough of that. Okay, let's just go ahead and just zap the crap out of this thing with our awesome Psybeam. By the way, a lot of you guys have been saying you earn double experience if you have the experience share out on your current Pokemon. That isn't true. It just learns half, it gets half the normal experience twice, as far as I know. Because it cuts the experience in half and then distributes it, so yeah, it's just giving it half the normal experience twice. Let's go ahead and go to Odairu. Just for the sheer fact that it hasn't seen any action in a while, and it has an Ice-type attack that can make quick work of this thing. And let's watch it do, like, five damage. Like, seriously. I, I dare you. I double dare you, game. Give me, give me like, five damage on this. Oh. It actually beat it in one hit. Okay. This is Archer! Archer is the leader of Neo Team Rocket in the Johto region. Uh, he actually looks somewhat like his appearance in the remake, as you can see in the sidebar. Um, Archer here, as the boss of Team Rocket, is going to start off with a Houndour, level 33 with the moves Fan Attack, Ember, Bite, and Roar. This thing really isn't too bad. It just, I don't, I just don't switch out on it. Just start off with a Pokemon that's super effective on fire and you'll be fine. If you switch out, well, actually, no, what the heck am I thinking? Fan Attack is not pursued. Um, I got Fan Attack and uh, Pursuit Confused. This thing really can't do much to you. It's not that great of a Pokemon. So, not much to worry about here. Alright, Darmani's gone ahead and gotten some experience. And I haven't gotten the experience here off of Eevee yet, which I'm going to need to do here in just a little bit. Now he's going to send out a Coughing. Uh, level 33 with the move Sludge. Um, bleh, Sludge, Smokescreen, Tackle, and Haze. Not a very good coughing once again. In the remake, it has Sludge, Smokescreen, Tackle, and Haze also. So this is not a good coughing. It's just, it's not good. Not good. Not good at all. Really, not good. It just isn't good. No, it's not good. It isn't a good coughing. No. Okay. I think I've gotten my point across. So yes. Last Pokemon, though, that can be a little bit of a challenge. Not really, but okay. Um, Alright, his coughing is down. So now he's going to be sending out his last Pokemon, which is the dreaded Big Bad Level 35 Houndoom. This thing really isn't that tough either. It's the same moveset as his Houndour. Well, aside from its last move, it has Faint Ember, Bite, and Smog. Remake, it has Faint Attack, Fire, Fang, Bite, and Smog. So, not a tough Houndoom. Let's go ahead and do... A oh, flail, come on. Barely survived, Armani. Come on, tank it, tank it, tank it, tank it, tank it. Yeah! Flail! Come on. For those of you who don't know at home, flail does more damage depending on how low your health is. And that was awesome timing, Darmani. And Eevee Girdle, wait, Espeon Girdle level 37. So yeah, we really need to get the experience off of that. And there goes... No! Forgive me, Giovanni! How could this be? Our dreams have come to naught. I wasn't up to the task after all, like Giovanni did before me. I will disband Team Rocket here today. Farewell. And here we go. Emil, thank you. Your courageous actions have saved Pokemon nationwide. I don't really know if it's that far. I know it's not much, but please take this. And we get the clear bell. If you're playing gold, you're going to get the rainbow wing. If you're playing silver, you're going to get the silver wing here. It used to be a tower right here in Goldenrod City, but it was old and creaky, so we replaced it with our radio tower. We dug up that bell during construction. I heard that all sorts of Pokemon lived in Goldenrod in the past. Perhaps that bell has some connection to the Tin Tower in Ecruteek. Ah, that reminded me. I overheard Team Rocket whispering. Apparently, there's something going on at Tin Tower. No idea what is happening, but you might want to look into it. Better go back to my office. Okay, so now that he said that, uh, we are going to want to head in the direction of Ecruteek. Oh, wait, item, 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 item. Yes, we're going to head in the direction of Ecruteek. And actually, there's a guy up here. Ben. Do you listen to our music? Say anything else? Um, no. Okay, what's this? Ultra Ball. Okay, that's kind of disappointing for being at the very top of the radio tower. 
All right, let's just go ahead and leave the radio tower, and I'll show you where we're going next. Before we head to Eckerteak, we want to head to Mahogany Town for something that actually a lot of you guys mailed in that I actually didn't remember. So yeah, I thank you guys for that. Um, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and head up here. After Team Rocket's been taken care of, you can head into this building where you used to have to pay a toll to get through, which I skipped out of. I got chased by my thugs in black. They left this behind. It makes me uncomfortable. Could you take it out anyway? Yeah, so he wants to turn us into a target from giving us this. This is TM-36, which contains Sludge Bomb, which we're going to want to teach to our coughing in place of Sludge just because it's a more powerful move. Okay, now remember that one building in Ekrutik that we never went through? Yeah, neither do I. But now we should go through here. We could have gone through here before with... A moment of this has occurred. I beg your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. Ah! Sound of that clear bell. It's sublime. I've never heard a beautiful sound before. That bell chimes indicative of the bear's soul. You, you may be able to make it through Tin Tower. Please do go on. God, you gotta love how this guy sidesteps. I mean, he sidesteps like the speed of light. It's like, Doo! like whenever he sidesteps. Okay, so going through here, uh, we are going to Tin Tower, which is known as Bell Tower in the remake. And unfortunately, we have got to fight three trainers one after another here. The legendary Sweet Pokemon Suicune has arrived. So yes, this wise trio is here to test us to make sure here. Ah, uh, yes. So yes, we managed to destroy Team Rocket's three-year plan in one day, all because they didn't anticipate anybody in the entire Johto region having Pokemon above level 30. Yeah, we feel good about ourselves today, so let's kick some Sage's butts. Yeah, you better look out. We're level 30. 30! Ha <laughs> ha! I told you you should have looked out. But you did now, did you? Now you got a frozen turkey. Owl. I don't know. Owls. Ooh, methane girdle level 34. Great. Gaku is gonna send out Flareon. <laughs> you have a Flareon. It's by far the worst EV evolution. I got Espeon, who's one of the best. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, yes. Okay. Go out there, kill Flareon! Kill it! Kill it hard! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it. Excuse me, faint it, faint it, faint it, faint it, faint it. That's why I'm not officially endorsed by Nintendo, because I say kill instead of faint. Okay. Thank you for fainting. Okay, there. Censorship at its finest. Okay, I've beaten you. Seen Suicune and Entei and Raikou in their sleep? Unbelievable! Legend is that they cannot be seen while they're asleep. Well, we saw them when they were asleep. You trust this truth? I must assert your worthlessness. Or, did he say worth? No, he said worthiness. Or, did he say worthlessness? Because if he said worthlessness, I'm very You know what? I'm just going to assume he said worthlessness just to, because it'll make me more angry and the fans love that. And he has yet another Noctowl. If I'm not mistaken, these. I see a pattern here. I bet it's going to be just Noctowls and Eevee evolutions. I don't remember from my practice file, but I'm not going to talk about my practice file a lot because I'm not in CS. No disrespect. I'm just saying you talk about your practice files a lot. Foresight! It's just like the city in Earthbound. Okay. Ice Punch. Okay, so much for Ice Punch. I actually think. Actually, I think Surf does more with same type attack bonus plus the fact we have Mystic Water, so let's just go ahead and just do Surf now. Just because it's going to probably be more effective. Even though it doesn't matter now, because I realized it when I had like 2 HP left anyway. Let's go ahead. And he has a Jolteon. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw Darmani out there. So yeah, it's amazing how the guard, not only did they get an old man to guard this supposed legendary sacred place, but an old man guard who could be persuaded with just a nice chime. Uh, come on. Stop failing. Then again, it's using Mud Slap, though, so I really shouldn't be surprised. Good. You're gone. You're dead. You've been deaded. I don't care. Masa. Is one of them going to be Mune? Because I swear to God, that pun's been used in way too many games. In the past, there were two nine-tier towers here. The Brass Tower, which was said to awaken Pokemon, and the Tin Tower, where Pokemon were said to rest. If 
Views from the tops of the towers must have been magnificent at the time, an immense silver-colored Pokemon was said to roost at the top of the brass tower. However, about 150 years ago, a lightning bolt struck one of the towers. It was engulfed in flames that raged for three days. A sudden downpour finally put out the blaze, and that is how Burn Tower came to be. And we defeated Koji! Why? It's too strong. Why? You, are you the trainer who is awaited by the legendary Pokemon? I see. We, the Rice Trio, have given the responsibility of protecting the legendary Pokemon. We are allowed to pass to those people who possess this trip power in that the power and soul of truth. The soul of truth! Enter Tin Tower Head. Suicune will there will put you to the test. Went ahead and cut it away there so I could heal really quick. And here we go. This place looks like a uh, you know, it looks like it's autumn here in the uh, remake, though, which I personally like a lot. Before going inside, let's just go ahead and save, in case things don't go our way. Always a good idea.